Isn't this nice? <laughs> gotcha. Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes. The legendary beast he outsmarted with its own dinner bell. I don't know if he forgets that I've heard that story before, or if he just doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look. We're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. <laughs> I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Oh, she's gonna kick his ass. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. <laughs> Are those his medicines? Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Gart you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Treating my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a what big day tomorrow. What the shit is that? <laughs> it's a giant hamster. Not the bunnies. Oh, I get to roll him down the hill. That ouch. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> He's still going. Hit the tree. Oh. <laughs> Oops. So this is before he was after gracefully repelling down the cliff. I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Let's have a look at the sign. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. It's this way. Can I go this way? It's... Oh, there's his, uh... Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. So his guinea pig rabbit horse abandoned him. Oh, there's been an accident. That's a f that's a big guinea pig horse. Oh, that's the bow. Tiny knight. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Um, I could do that. Instead, I chose to go around. I must be on the right. Strange tracks blaze the trail through the forest. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't leave. Am I off to fight some monster? Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Hey, can I get you? Hey, that, that, that looks like something I should be able to get. The only money to my name. Only I have five coins. Squirrel, squirrel rat, come back. <laughs> oh. The tracks go this way. What's this way? Bunner. There's nothing this way. I assume that this is where I find the bow to start with, so I can shoot that down. Or can I climb it? I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Oh. Oh no! No, no, no. Shame. The only tool left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Can I cut down the tree? There was no reason to chop down a perfectly good tree. Yes, sir, as I need to cross the river. Don't second guess me, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing. Uh, might as well follow the frog. He seems like he knows what he's doing. That wheel seemed freshly broken. So, whatever the wheel belonged to is definitely this way. Aha! Oh, look at the tiny little guinea pig goats! Stand back, 
you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Oh, or a... Oh, oh, oh. Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no. Uh, nope. So I need to cut some wood. Can I cut the wood here? Let's have a look around. Aha. Just a little hoop here, a little elbow. Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Perhaps. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? I used my hatchet. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. So, I'm looking for... Oh, hello. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a little... No oh, hello. Here, kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty! <laughs> so we run along. Oh, another one. Hmm. No wheels are there. Why don't I just go? Why didn't I just go back to get the other wheel, the old wheel? An overgrown patch. The spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Perhaps. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Ah. So it's all connected. Hey, is there anything in this one? No, because it's not moving. Shit. Oh. Chop it down. And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Okay, so there's nothing there. So I do have to go all the way back to get the old wheel. Fucking. Okay. So what am I supposed to use? There's nothing big and round. Oh, wait. Oh, you stupid idiot. Ah, oh. fuck. Okay, we can we can just get rid of all that extra stuff. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? No, I didn't want to close it. I wanted to take the wheel off the fucking. Well, let's open the gate, just to say we can open it. 
So, what's in the town? Oh, a plate! Can we use a plate? No. A jug? No. What is large and round? I wished I had some marshmallows. But the, the forge isn't lit, you tit. Looked like a blacksmith shop of swords. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Let's take the shield. Big, round, that should do the trick. Has he got a magic cloak or some shit? Oh, so I can't take the sword. Oh, give me a sword! That's what I need. Can I look anywhere else? No, not yet. I just want to investigate places. Potions? I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. I thought these potions, herbs, and other magical sundries were best observed from afar. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Oh, I could have taken the tabletop and I could have kept the shield for something else. Damn it. Oh well. He's got a wooden... There's not a lot really I can do anymore. I mean, there's a bakery. A bakery? I and could have used a... Well, delicious. I could have used a giant I cheese wheel. I didn't need wheel. to borrow more than one wheel. At least I was nice enough to leave a tip for the shield, right? The delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Alright, let's head back, give the bloke his wheel, and then we'll come back. Is that a shortcut? Thank you, Mr. Wolf. You're amazing. That is so much nicer. Thank you. Thank you, game, for giving me a shortcut. Now let's cross this again. Alright, let's give him his shield. I thought this might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. <laughs> Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm, just like my shorts. This is perfect. I hope you didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Why would I want it, though? No thanks. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy. It's not a real it ticket, is, is it? 